have you heard about lsi keywords if not then this is the right video for you because today i am going to share you what lsi keywords are lsi keyword is one of the technique where all the seo experts do use it in their blog posts to increase their rankings for the particular blog post so say suppose if you are targeting any keywords you have to find some relevant keywords around it and that is what lsi keyword is so in this video i'll talk more around it how you can use it how you can make sure your blog post is updated so please do watch the video till the end as there will be a lot of information shared around this technique of uh, increasing your website ranking and getting a lot of traffic so what does lsi stand for so lsi stands for latent semantic rank it's a uh, seo terminology that has been given by google but yeah uh, it's it's more around uh, say if you have targeted targeted a post around uh, credit cards then your similar keywords might be say money credit cards insurance products around credit cards or all the credit card products those sort of a basic similarity now i cannot explain it in uh, in terms so let's jump onto the screen to see how lsi keywords you can find it out so this is first of all this is my website the pavali seo tips and by using this technique we are consistently growing so we are not writing lot of post we are trying to improve the content of existing post by using this technique only so let's go to google so say if i have to write a post uh, for my website around uh, best hosting deals now i'll write best hosting deals i'll search it this is one of the keyword which i am targeting for my website uh, please be aware that this is the one of the most competitive keyword so i i am just trying to target the uh, conceptually similar keyword which lsi stands for so now how will i find those keywords so what i'll do is i'll go down and first technique is to use google only so these are kind of similar keywords uh, conceptually similar now cheap web hosting might be relevant to best hosting deal so if i have a page related to best hosting deal what you need to try to do is incorporate all these keywords or around these keywords now godaddy is a uh, one of the hosting providers so you will already have those keywords but yeah these are some of the keywords that you can use it now these are very short tail but yeah this is one of the long tail so best hosting deal for small business so that has to be added in your post around best hosting deals and then what you can do is type this and then you will get a bit more larger keyword i am in uk so i have to add uk as well so this will give me similar keywords now so some of the other tools are keyword.co so now uh, these are kind of a free tools which you can use it so apart from google what i can do is i would put here best hosting deals okay i'll just search it and it will give me the relevant uh, uh, semantic keywords which are conceptually similar see one word is these so these keywords i should have in my blog post two words are these so web hosting hosting service hosting deals hosting plan wordpress cloud all those things three words are uh, the web hosting service web hosting deals okay so these are the keywords it has a paid version as well however i have not used it so i am i'm going with the google search only where i try to find all these keywords through my keyword analysis so and and if you have uh, if you want to use this uh, free tool so this is one of the tool and then you can also use semrush or ahref they do provide the semantic uh, graphs as well so i have a ahref paid version but yeah i do use google and ahref both to do my research around lsi keywords now with this technique what happens is why this technique is important so say i have written a post around best hosting deals google wants to rank my website for that keyword so now that is very competitive so if i have best best website and email hosting for small business uk that same keyword if i have in that same post then i might rank for this keyword and if i rank for this keyword then there are chances that then google will understand the user engagement there were other parameters as well how people react to that blog post if it is good 
then Google will start ranking for that small tail keyword as well. So that is why it's better to use this approach in your all your blog posts which are a bit old as well. So you can update it by doing this uh, research. You can use the search console as I have already shown in my videos where you can find the keywords around where they are ranking and then you can increase those keywords or try to check whether those keywords are present in the website or not. So this is one of the straightforward technique which people normally misses out uh, while they write here their blog post and uh, if it is not ranked they do not understand why it is going down and why it is not ranking for other keywords. It's basically you have not added similar keywords. And by the way, you have to be aware that Google do Google wants those keywords in your blog post because it, it, it makes it feel that that is a kind of a genuine content as well. Because those keywords do come when an article is written by, a, say, a professional or an expert around that uh, area. And it is one of the quantifiable signal as well from a Google perspective. So do make sure to add those things. And it's already mentioned in the Google's uh, official repository as well. Uh, where uh, the semantic keyword are quite important and uh, they help in ranking. So I hope you have found this video informational and uh, you will apply this LSI keywords in your blog post and do comment me in the comment section if you do not understand what it means. So I can create a detailed guide as well if required. And I hope this video is useful for you all. And if you like this video, then do press the like button and do subscribe to my channel for any such informative videos around WordPress and SEO. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.